What's up, Chow? Chin Chow's Lantern Joe here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Metroid Run Challenge. In the last episode, we made it halfway through the Team Aqua Hideouts. We took on the Team Magma Hideouts. I think that's about it, actually. But in this episode, we are going to take on the rest of the Team Magma, the Team Aqua Hideouts, and we are going to. Go to Moss Deep City and take on the Moss Deep Gym and Tate and Eliza. Off screen, I did go and get my levels, so let's have a look at the Pokemon that we have here. Eastland is level 38 with the moves. Headbutt, Bite, Dragon Breath and Fly. Boo is level 45 with the moves Shadow Ball, Faint Attack, Confuse Ray and Mean Look. CM Punk is level 47 with the moves Karate Chop, Seismic Toss, Cross Chop, Cross Chop and Submission Laser Gate is level 55 with the moves Slash, Surf, Bite and Water Gun and Laser Gate will not be gaining any more levels in grinding because I will not be grinding him anymore he is at the maximum so we'll have to wait and see on Laser Gate Eclipse is level 44 with the moves Faint Attack, Mean Look, Pursuit and Sand Attack. James is level 43 with the moves Tackle, Growth, Poison Powder and Razor Leaf. And that is the team. So, without further ado, let's go further on. And whilst we're going further on, let's talk about Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. They've been actually quite interesting uh, uh, games, and I, I just think they're absolutely amazing. I mean, uh, yesterday when we, a few a couple of days ago, I got some, uh, we got some brand new footage of Groudon and Kyogre awakening from their prisms, both underwater and underground, and they were quite amazing too. And I don't know what that means for us, but uh, they looked different from the box art, so possibly we could be getting some new evolutions. I don't know for sure, but I would like to see some brand new evolutions for the Pokemon. But we shall have to wait and see. Why aren't I speeding up? That's something I should be doing for start. I'd like to see a f quite a few evolutions for Alpha Safi Omega Ruby. But I don't really know what we're going to get. <laughs> we already got it, did you? We underestimated you. But this is it. I'm a cut above the grunts you see here, this far. I'm not sewing for time. I'm going to pulverize you. Are you really going to pulverize me? Because I don't think you are. I honestly don't think you are and your muscly physique. Aqua Admin Matt starts off with his Mighty Enna level 34. We start off with Eastern level 38. The Intimidate gets passed around, and let's go for the Headbutt. Okay, scary face, we can handle that. Let's go for the Super Speed and the Headbutt. And headbutt more! I'm recording this episode right after the Pokemon Pearl Egglock finished. I'm not going to tell you the results of the Pokemon Pearl Egglock, but uh, I want to leave you in suspense for this series. I want to let you know what you think of the series honestly and uh, let you know what you think of the next series really because uh, the next series will be starting up very very soon probably already actually has started up by the time this series has gone up so let me know what you think of the next series on this channel which is a Pokemon Leaf Green Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge so it should be rather interesting it's another co-op alongside another another fate another YouTuber that I'm very friend a uh, very big friend of. Whilst I was toying with you, our boss had got into preparations. Yee. 
Our boss has already gone under his way to some cave under sea. You're going to give choice. You better search beyond Lily Cove. But I think you will find it then. Hee hee hee. Okie dokie. If I can get out of here in time, we should be able to get on to Moss Deep Island. But if we can't, I don't know, really know. I hope we can get out of here in time. I, honest, I honestly haven't discovered the, uh, the plan for the warp panels here. Actually, just discovering how I did this in uh, Ruby a few months ago. I actually couldn't remember off the top of my head how I uh, got through Moss Deep Island into uh, into Topolis City. So this is going to be actually quite interesting for me because I'm not exactly sure I remember how to do this. Not bad, Eastland. So this is going to be rather fun, actually. I really should have put the uh, repels on. This is going to be annoying. But let's run. Do I have repels in my bag? I have normal repels. I probably have super repels as well, but let's go with normal repels for now. So we meet Moss Deep Island. What's this island? This is the Huntsman's House. So this is the guy, if you give shards to him, he'll give you stones. So if you give him red shards, he'll give you a fire stone. If you give him blue shards, he'll give you a water stone. If you give him yellow shards, he'll give you a thunder stone. And if you give him green shards, he'll give you a leaf stone. That's literally what it is, sir. But we are here live in Moss Deep Island. And we are going to take on the Moss Jeep Gym. But let's get power cut out of the PC. Let's go with, uh, let's take a CM Punk out of the party. And let's take on the Moss Deep City Gym. This is going to be pretty good, actually. Hey, y'all. How's it going? Champion Bound Joe. The gym leader's here, you psychic-type Pokemon. If you are planning to go up against them with uh, fighting or poison-type Pokemon, you're in for a horrible damage. Thus, they'll come at you with outstanding combination attacks. If you want to win, you need to show off how tightly you and your Pokemon are. Go for it. Okie dokie. So this is the Moss Deep City Doubles Battle Gym. So it's actually going to be quite interesting though, because we haven't actually done doubles battles the entire game. So we've done a few doubles battles, but not a lot. So this is going to be actually rather interesting, because I don't really know what we can do against doubles battles teams. Let's go for the uh, bites on the Curlia and the Shadow Ball on the Kadabra. 
not bad. We take down the Kadabra. Bite. And Shadow Ball. Down goes the Curlia. Alright, nice work, Eastland. And Burl. And we can advance on. Into our second match. So basically the whole point of this gym is that the fact is we are going to see a lot of psychic type battles and a lot of doubles battles because gym leaders are doubles partners. It's going to be actually interesting. See what we can do here. I don't, honestly don't know if we can get to this gym in time, but um, we'll see what we can do. Uh, yeah, I might be able to get to this gym before the end of this episode, and we'll uh, leave it to uh, Lisa Gator and Power Cut to take on this final gym. But we'll have to wait. Uh, I mean, the seventh gym of the uh, of the Hoenn region here, actually. But we'll have to wait and see if we can get through all these gym battles. Honestly, I don't know. So, Meditite and Kilia. Let's go for the bite. Ah. Let's go for the fly on the Meditite and the Shadow Ball on the Kilia. Not bad. Eastland's been actually really good in, in grinding, and it's been actually really interesting to grind him up. So, it's worked out pretty well, actually. I honestly can't remember how to get through this gym. can't know how to get through this gym. I might have to think about this. Hang on, guys. That's still not right. Let's go for that. There we go. I figured it out eventually. I honestly not sure how to remember to go for these gyms. But I think we need to uh, go back into the previous room and find the green switch flowers. Found the purple switch, but we haven't found the green one yet. We'll see though. Let's go for the bite on the Kadabra and the Shadow Ball on the Wobbuffat. Okay, we're not going to take out the we're going to take out the Wobbuffat this turn because it's gone for the Dragon Breath. I mean the Destiny one. So I think we'll go for the Fly and let's go for the Confuse Ray. Go for the Shadow Ball. Not bad, Eastland. Go for the Shadow Ball, and that should take out those two. Not bad. Okay, 
Okie dokie, one more person left. Uh, right. Not bad, Eastland. Nice work. Battle text count. So, let's see what we can do here. Headbutt, and headbutt again. Not bad, Eastland again. Level 40. Eastland might come with me to the Elite Four. I haven't quite decided on my final team yet. I honestly don't know what it's going to be. But I think that should allow us to get to the gym leader. So, here we are at the Gym Leaders, let's save the game, and... Let's take on the Gym Leaders. With a uh, Laser Gator, and... Power Cut in my front of my party. Hee <laughs> were you surprised? We are the gym leaders. We are twins. We don't need to talk because we determine each other what each other's thinking. With all our minds. The combinations. Can you beat us? Let's find out. Tate and Lisa. The seventh gym. Start off with a Clay Doll and a Natu level 41 each. We're going to start off with Power Cut level 46 and Laser Gate at level 55. So let's go for the Water Gun and the Surf. Okay. Punch, take it out. Nice. Well done. The power cut. Can you live at least one earthquake? Please live at least one. Okay, you live one earthquake. That's fine. Let's get you out of here and into Boo. And let's go for the Surf again. I, I really like how in the third gen you don't get attacked. You don't... It doesn't affect you if you go for the Surf and like Discharge and stuff like that. It actually doesn't affect you, so it's pretty cool that. And they're going to bring up the... Soul Rock as well. So let's go for a surf one final. Let's go for a surf one more time. And let's go for the super speed one as well. Not bad. Let's go for the surf and the surf again. Not bad. We take down Tate and Liza. What? Our combination was shattered? It can't be helped. You won. In recognition, take this. We take the mind badge from Tate and Liza. That badge increases the special defense and special attack of your Pokemon. It also lets you use the HN dive outside of battle. Take this too. TMO4 Calm Mind. That TM contains Calm Mind. It raises the special attack and special defense. It is perfect for a psychic Pokemon. And we register Tate and Eliza in the Pokenav. But other than that, that is literally it for this episode. So, with that in mind, I'd like to thank you all for watching. 
please if you enjoyed today's episode leave a like comment and subscribe for more and until next time i'm lantern and joe and this has been another episode of pokemon emerald randomizer metroid on challenge and in the next episode we are going to t find our way to zootopolis city and probably maybe even start taking on the zootopolis gym but until next time i'm lantern joe and i'm out see you again